hopefully improve patient care. The era of a doctor sitting back and waiting for patients to call them when they have problems is behind us. We're in an era where you have to, the first rule is don't hurt the patient. The second rule is help them if you can. And the third rule is respect them at all costs. And I think these tools that are all being devised, the, the reporting mechanisms that are all being created, are all being designed in an effort to improve the entire population of health. So I think in the end run, it, it, it is better for the patient. You're in an era today where more, more patients are being brought to insurance coverage. The Affordable Care Act has already had an impact on that. We are seeing an, an increase in the number of patients that um, are, are seeking medical care. At the same time, there hasn't been the same growth in the provider space. Now, we are seeing more mid-level providers take up some of the roles of some of the physicians, uh, and that has extended the, the workforce of the providers. But we're in an era today where the, the, the thought of limiting how many patients you see is really not a viable opportunity. There has been tremendous consolidation in the insurance space. There are far fewer insurance companies than there are healthcare systems. So by definition, that has given the, the payer space some clout over the years. But that is changing. And the new models of shared risk with providers are clouding the differences between provider organizations and payer organizations. The ACO is a perfect example of how those two can blend together. In the immediate sense, the most common thing we run into today are patients who have very high deductible plans. And so the out-of-pocket component becomes the driver of whether they have a test done or don't have a test done, and whether they receive a treatment or not. So that is probably much more of an issue that we deal with on an everyday basis. But if they need the care, it's my job as a physician to find a way for them to get it. Thousand dollar deductibles are small. You're, ta you're seeing patients today who have six, ten thousand dollar deductibles. We, we are seeing the payer space though combine reference pricing for screening tests with high deductible plans. So a patient may have a high deductible plan for uh, a hospitalization or a surgery, but if for the preventative tools such as colonoscopy, reference pricing is, is used which thereby uh, removes that from their deductible.